amigos and happy Tuesday. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Christy and I am from Virginia. I am 23 years old and I live in my mom's basement. My room is really, really messy as you can probably see behind me. Um, my desk is covered in crap right now so I didn't want to set my computer there and have you guys judge me. So instead I'm going to have you judge me for all of the other stuff. The unmade bed, the cluttered desk, the Target bag. Um, I'm probably the messiest girl you'll ever meet. And my car, you don't need to know about my car because that's completely separate. Um, but I've never done one of these before as, um, as many of you are in the same boat as I am. So this is probably going to be pretty awkward, but, um, hey, why not, right? Um, so, like I said, I'm 23 years old. I live in my mom's basement and I work at my church and I work with student ministry. So I, right now I run the middle school and high school programming and um, I'm hoping and praying we get a student pastor soon so that some of my stress can be relieved. Um, and yeah, so there's that. And uh, I was an English major. And my hair looks like a lion's mane today. It's kind of crazy and out of control. And I just drove home from work, so it's all, like, windy and weird. Also, it really needs to be dyed. Roots are out of control. Anyways, um, for my questions, um, I think that maybe I should answer them. So the first question that I'm going to answer is, would I rather smell coffee or cigarette breath when talking to someone, or would I rather smell um, unbrushed teeth? And I'm going to go ahead and say I would rather smell coffee and cigarette breath um, a lot of my friends drink coffee on the regular, and a lot of my friends smoke on the regular. And, um, I used to smoke when I was in college, and so the smell of smoke breath doesn't really bother me. Um, coffee breath kind of grosses me out, but, uh, there's just nothing worse than talking to somebody when they haven't brushed their teeth that morning, or maybe they forgot for a couple days, and you're just like, What? Why wouldn't you brush your teeth? That's like the easiest thing to do, and it only takes like a minute and a half. Um, so my pet peeves, um, when I was in college, my friend Anna and I, we used to make lists of things, like movies we want to see, elevator list, bucket list, pet peeves, favorite movies. Um, so I actually used to have a whole like long running list of my favorite, or not my favorite, but of my pet peeves. Um, but I'm only going to talk about a few of them. Uh, my first pet peeve is slow drivers. I live in Northern Virginia and uh, I'm used to driving fast and I'm used to people getting out of my way. Um, and so like when I drive on country roads and people don't uh, either go to the side so I can pass them or they don't understand the rule of passing, like when I speed up I'm going to pass you. Um, that's a big pet peeve of mine. Um, when people, when there's two doors side by side and people are coming in and going out of one door, but there's two doors right there, um, but people just don't open one of them, that's probably one of my all-time biggest pet peeves. Uh, that happened a lot in college and I was always that person that was like, hey guys, there's two doors, let's, uh, get out of here a little bit faster. Um, I hate wasting time, if you can't tell. And, uh, the third thing is, um, all of this is related to the fact that I have superhuman hearing. And I can hear a lot of different things at one time. Um, my mom thinks that that's my version of ADD. Um, and I can't focus when there's a lot of things going on. So when people are, like, tapping on something or whistling or chewing their food or anything like that, that just irritates the snot out of me because I can't focus on what I'm doing. People clicking pins anything that is unnecessary I'm like please for the love of God stop it my mom teases me all the time because she's like good luck having kids they're gonna bug the crap out of you probably uh, my next question is if my life was a movie uh, an 80s movie perfect uh, what would it be called and I thought long and hard about this and I think it would be called nowhere but nowhere but there I think that's pretty vague. I think uh, we could probably come up with some really cheesy music, uh, musical selections for the soundtrack. And uh, I don't really know who I want to play my love interest. Um, probably Emilio Estevez. Uh, he's pretty hot back in the 80s, so there's always that. Maybe Zac Efron if it was being made today as like a parody of an 80s movie. But probably not Zac Efron. It would probably be Ryan Gosling. 
or Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, my next question that I'm answer is, if any author could write a book about my life, who would I want to write it? As an English major, I've done a lot of reading, and I just love books. Um, so I'm going to go with Nicholas Sparks. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. Yeah, all of his books end with people falling in love, and I want to fall in love and get married and live happily ever after. So why wouldn't I want Nicholas Sparks to write the book about my life? No. Um, I would want the, an author by the name of Rob Sheffield. He's written uh, two books that I know of, and they're both absolutely hysterical. Uh, the first one's called Love is a Mixtape, and the other one is, um, oh crap, it's something like, talk. oh, it's talking to girls about Duran Duran. And both both of them are extremely hilarious, um, little snippets of his life, and he loves music. He's a commentator for VH1 and used to be a work in a record store and all these fabulous things that I'll never get to do. Um, but he's be he's he writes beautiful, beautiful literature, and it's hilarious and pointed, and he works music into all of it. So that's really important to me that music would be a part of the story of my life. And my last question is my thoughts on mustaches. I love facial hair on a guy. On girls, it's not so attractive. Um, but I only like mustaches when they're attached to, like, a beard or, like, a goatee. I'm not really a fan of this whole, like, ironic mustaches thing. It's not really all that ironic. I don't think it's attractive. Call me an idiot, if you will. I don't really care. Um, but that's just my thoughts on things, and if you don't agree with me, oh well. That's daycare.